Okay, so when you're figuring out on a scrambled cube if you have a corner twist or not, you need to know this. Like in the soon case, you, there is one corner that needs to be twisted counterclockwise, another needs to be twisted, I mean, one that needs to be twisted clockwise, another needs to be twisted clockwise, another one needs to be twisted clockwise. So that's three corners that need to be twisted clockwise. So since this is the soon case, we know that it's solvable. See? But, and in this case, this one is twisted clockwise, needs to be twisted clockwise, this one needs to be twisted clockwise, so that's two that needs to be twisted clockwise, but this one needs to be twisted counterclockwise, this one also needs to be twisted counterclockwise. Those two counterclockwise twists cancel out these two clockwise twists, so this is solvable. Oh. Sorry, I used a CML off case. Okay. So that that's basically means that all the quarters on a scrambled cube like this one, uh, when you're counting them, it goes like one, two, three, and then when you get to three, it goes back to zero. And then you just keep going like that. And if you get one this twist in one direction and one twist in the opposite direction, the opposite direction one cancels out the other direction. Here's an example. This one needs t t to be twisted uh, clockwise. So does this one. So we have two. Flip it over. This one needs to be twisted counterclockwise. So that one is, uh, so it goes back to one. And this one also needs to be twisted counterclockwise. So it goes back to zero. Since uh, the number is now at zero, that means the cube is solvable.